You can sew fabric, you can sew faux leather, and you can sew plastic. And yes, all of this with your sewing machine at home. Plastic is really versatile to make projects with, especially for those you want to keep water out of, so all these little pouch bags for the beach are really useful to make them with it. I usually buy, I just uh, go to my local fabric store and get some plastic tablecloth and it's really easy to sew but there's a few tips you have to take into account so you don't have any problems and your project looks beautiful. Plastic is really versatile, I love to use it and I've done a few projects with it. Uh, the thing I like the most, I always show here in the sewing room, is this uh, sewing machine cover made out of this material. I love it because the sewing machine is the queen in the sewing room. You have to see how but you want to protect her and what better way to make a cover in plastic. It's ideal, it was really easy to do and it mm, does its purpose perfectly. And another thing I've used it for that is really useful is uh, to, to keep my toys, my son's toys, it's not my toys, my son's toys in the cover because that way he can see what he has but it's uh, perfectly organized as well so it's ideal for that and the other way I've used it is when I want to keep something waterproof. For example, if I want to take extra clothing for the beach, I have a little pouch bag made out of plastic that is ideal. And I also made, with a zip and everything, a cover to transport dresses. It's ideal. It's really good, really useful, and I think it was a really good idea. So that's uh, that, I'll leave you a link to all the videos I've done so you can have a look and get some ideas to do on your own. The first problem you're going to encounter when cutting or working with plastic is how to mark it. Of course, your normal tailor's chalk is not going to do anything on this. So I always use just uh, a pen and that way, even though this one is uh, an ink one, you get good results. It won't go. And of course, we're going to leave there our good scissors. Our fabric scissors are like a treasure. We have to take care of them. And I always have two pairs. I have these ones. I think these ones came with the sewing machine. Uh, they always bring a little bag with a few things. And I think it's this of, uh, from there. Um, they're also good, you can cut fabric with them, I have no problem with them at all, but I keep them for extra stuff. If I have to cut a zip, a cord, uh, something harder, or something I think is going to damage my good scissors, I use this. So it's fine to cut plastic, and anyways, plastic cuts like butter. And of course when you're going and of course when you're going to sew it together you cannot keep it in place with pins because they're going to leave a hole that is not going to remove itself uh, by any means so you can either use paper clips or the ones that, is, that they sell specially uh, for sewing at the haberdashery one. I haven't got those. I have these paper ones as well but uh, you can even use pegs if you don't have any of this but What's important is that you don't use pins because they're going to leave a hole. It's like when working with faux leather, you can't use them either. So same thing, just keep them without the really ugly holes. And now that we come to the machine, we have to take into account that 
plastic marks like it gets the holes and that's it there's no way back like when we sew leather or for leather this is the same so we have to be really sure of what we're sewing so we don't have to unstitch nothing uh, you can it won't uh, affect your project but the holes will stay there so just be sure and to sew it there's nothing better than a polyester thread it's much more resistant and you'll need a longer stitch the, if you sew with a shorter stitch if the stitches are together they can grip your plastic because of the uh, continuous holes so you'll need a longer stitch to keep it safe and if you have one of these plastic presser foot it's much easier because the plastic won't stick to the presser foot and it will uh, go on easier but if you haven't got one you can always put some painters tape underneath your presser foot to make it uh, not stick and anyways if you feel like your plastic is sticking to the base of your machine you can also use some drafting paper to a body sew And one thing I love doing with my plastic projects is to finish it, to hem it with bias tape. It looks really professional, really elegant, and I love the look of it. And that way uh, you're not seeing the seam like this. And what if I want to add a closure to my little pouch bag to give it a more professional look? You can. It's really easy. As I've said before, I added a zip to a dress cover. So I saw it um, perfectly fine and even put uh, some bias tape as well. So it was fine. I guess you can use snaps. I haven't, so I can't assure you 100%, but it shouldn't be a problem. But what I do use a lot is some velcro it's really easy to use and this sticky one doesn't go anywhere i've used it to this beach bag i've used it with some of my son's uh, toy bags and some of the pouch bags i take to the beach and it's it, it resists really well it doesn't go anywhere and it's really easy to use so you can even zip it you can snap it or you can velcro it So let me know down in the comments if you are going to have a go at sewing plastic after watching this video and you can even share it with someone who might enjoy this content I'm sure someone will like it because it's really easy really it's not complicated to sew plastic at all you can sew it you can hem it you can give it a nice finish and you can even put a closure on it so it's really easy really forgiving and you don't need much the prayers are really simple so i leave you a link here to all the projects i've made with plastic and i leave you as well my instagram account in case you want to have a look at everyday life and things like that and i'll see you around bye